because of you I became who I am today Alright, action. Alright, so first I want to thank you guys for, you know, doing the showcase for us, for the Cat Showcase. So the first question I want to ask is, when did you come to the realization that music is something you were more passionate about? Mm, that's uh, probably from last December mm. that I started preparing uh, my first album. So I produced a few songs and um, in the period that I kind of realized uh, doing music is something that I really like and I want to pursue because I want to try a lot of different types of music that I like. Uh, for me, I realized I was more serious about music um, probably two years ago maybe. Because I think everyone is like everyone enjoys listening to music. Everyone loves to uh, have fun with friends with music and stuff like that. But it's like a different turning point when you really decide that you want to be serious about music. And for me, I think that was like two years ago, and it was mostly because of I realized that this is the thing that really makes me the most determined and. Um, I feel like I have a lot to accomplish in music and I have a lot that I want to achieve so that's why I, I started uh, pursuing music more seriously two years ago. Good answer. So 2016 is halfway done. Um, what would you say is the biggest musical accomplishment so far? Biggest accomplishment? I would... <clears throat> I would say that it's probably the three music videos that I've shot over the like last four months, and then I feel like um, in the process of making the music, music video, and the production, everything com combined together, my first album is probably my biggest accomplishment so far. But in the near future, we're gonna be putting out a lot of more new music. For me, uh, the biggest accomplishment so far is probably the fact that I just started doing music again, period. Because I uh, haven't put out any music since uh, I stopped doing music in 2014. So this year it was just a big deal for me to just put something out, like whatever it is. Just putting out music is a big deal for me. And also setting up our own uh, label which is called MMP. That was also a big deal. Yeah. yeah. So those are the two biggest accomplishments this year. So, far. so what are some things you're willing to admit you struggle with this year professionally and personally? Mm -hmm. uh, for me, musically, uh, struggling with. I think the fact that there's not that many people around that's helping us right now. Like we don't have a big team right now. Like it's we're really starting from the ground up where we have to acquire certain people to mix our tracks, to master our tracks, to be a sound engineer. Like getting all those like little things out of the way, especially for our label and stuff, those th those are things that are very, very challenging and no one really thinks about those kind of little things when they start doing music, but those are things that really take up a lot of time unless you really get it taken care of. And personally, uh, I think it's just the balance of going to school and doing music at the same time, but it doesn't matter if it's just for me and I think it's a lot of the cases with a lot of other student musicians, like balancing school, grades, trying to pass classes, like it's just a hard thing to do. So, yeah. For me, I would say that uh, probably since uh, April that I have a little bit of struggle with my voice, my vocal cords because um, during the time that we were shooting a lot of uh, photos and music videos, the weather was kind of difficult in Vancouver, it rains a lot, it's very cold, we have to do a lot of shoots under the rain, so I caught cold like many, many times and it's never really getting better and then so my vocal is kind of being affected by a lot of time so uh, recording time got delayed or production time kind of get affected by that so yeah so 
Also, how would you describe the difference between working with each other and other groups versus as a solo artist? Um, working as a solo is much easier, of course. When you work by yourself, it's gonna be however you want it, kind of. But you know, at the same time, like the, the very reason that you work with other people is because you want to kind of collaborate, come up with something together that maybe you couldn't do by yourself. So you know, I understand this, and of course, working by yourself is easier. But you know, everything that you really want to accomplish in life is not gonna be easy. You know? So I think that. Those are the main challenges, and sometimes when you're working alone, sometimes you run out of motivation. Whereas if you work with each other, if we work with each other or with other people, there's always someone pushing you, kind of. For me, that's how it is. For me, um, if I do solo songs, I think that it's much easier for me to establish something that I really like or put in all different kind of instruments or mixing my vocals in the way I want. But for working with other people, I think it's very important to kind of balance what you want and what the other person wants. And for me, because um, I'm a producer, so if I want to produce something for me, myself, and for other people, I usually need to think in the way that how this person would present it. So sometimes it could be very difficult, but it's always very fun because you can learn a lot of different other elements from, about music from other the others. Thank you. I've got four more questions left. Uh -huh. It's actually better, I know. It's a lot better. This morning I should have dropped my Oh, with the thing. Sorry about that. That's okay. Okay. So, on to our next question. Um, name the most memorable experience you've had interacting with your fans. You go first. Interacting with my fans. I would say that um, I've received gifts from my uh, my band before uh, overseas in China, and for me, I have a lot of uh, my fans are in China and a lot of different Asian bands, and I just feel like when I have some uh, struggles over music and my personal life, that a lot of my fans give me a lot of encouragement. They always say. I'm the best, I'm doing everything right, and it gives me a lot of courage. For me, uh, the most memorable interaction with fans is the fact that uh, this year I went to Atlanta and Washington DC for K-pop all night thing that it was the first time that I kind of did something by myself and you know the fact that my fans are still with me and they're still very supportive is in, whether or not it's just like one specific scenario or like it's not something that's so memorable like one particular case but it's just the general idea that they they're very still very supportive i think that's probably the most important thing for me in terms of the interaction with fans thank you for that um can you give your fans any hints about future projects Uh, we will be making a lot more music together in the future and we're going to try a lot of different styles. We might even put out a uh, dance, dancey type of music, right? And make a dance and, and make a music video. Oh, we are? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I know. And we will probably be going to different places for our MMP concerts. Uh, we're probably going to invite a lot of different artists as well. Yeah, uh, I think that uh, it's very hard because I'm balancing like school, the, the our label, and my music at the same time. It's like it's like school, business, and like my passion at the same time. It's always very difficult. So I don't know exactly like what my musical plans are, but like I just pretty much plan to uh, keep on doing what I've just kept on doing so far, just going along with what's been brought to me, you know, other opportunities. Uh, 
terms of specific like musical like styles or something, it's hard to say because I'm just gonna basically go with what I find. Yeah, yeah, basically. Um, yeah. So how would you describe your activities in the DMV area? Um, is it treating you both well? Mm -hmm. I mean, DMV, DC. DMV, DC, Maryland, Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How's your experience here so far? It's good. That's it. So it's very hot here. Well, yeah, it's very to hot. It's compared really to Vancouver, hot. it's very hot. Yeah. yeah. It's like a different type of hot. It's like a I can't breathe kind of hot. <laughs> yeah. Like Vancouver is hot, but it's also very like airy and kind of like open. Like very open kind of. I don't know how to say it. Windy. Yeah, it's by the ocean. That's what the big difference. But for me, I came to Washington DC last time and then I'm here again in uh, uh, Fairfax. Oh wait, where oh, where are we right now? We're in Fort Washington. Fort Washington. Fort Washington. <laughs> Fort Washington. And then, so Maryland. We're in Maryland right now. It's very interesting, like because for me, I didn't know Washington D.C. was a city, and there was like three different states around there or whatever. So I, I'm like always confused where I'm going. Like it's like I don't know like which state I'm in sometimes. You know what I mean? But. Uh, yeah, it's a very interesting experience because in Maryland, so far what I've seen, and then we were in Virginia, our hotel was in Virginia, and then Washington DC, I was there last time. It's all very different, so it's like a very different vibe, and it's so close together, which is very interesting. So after this is over, we're going to be staying here for like three or four more days, so we're hoping to kind of like get to experience a bit more and uh, look around. I guess it's my first time here because um, I usually go to the like California area and it's my first time to the eastern side of the state so I'm very looking forward to this tour. <laughs> so final statements. Mm. Final statements. Anything you want to say to everybody? To everybody. Yeah. I hope in the future that I, we will be invited to more of these kind of Asian festival or uh, a lot of the related events because we would love to bring our music to uh, people from everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, first of all, I just want to thank uh, Cash and uh, for the Asian Festival for having us and then uh, for having, letting us perform and bring our music, you know, uh, the whole uh, community of like, Asian music in America and North America is very important to us. So. You know, bringing culture and all that, sharing culture is a very important part about music. And uh, yeah, like uh, Mel said, you know, hoping to perform more, hoping to create uh, different types of music in the future. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to uh, come, back, come back, again. back again. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's a good area. So yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Cause your touch became a melody, and your love became a harmony. And the way we say goodbye became the